Today's video is brought to you in part by Zero and Nine. If you're the type of person who builds a lot of PCs or just changes the parts out inside their PC quite a bit, having an extra Windows 10 Pro key can be a lifesaver, especially if something happens and all of a sudden your registration isn't working. And right now at Zero and Nine, they have Windows 10 Pro for $16. Now this is like 84% off, but with a coupon code that we're gonna share with you, you'll be able to get the same code for $13. $13. That's right. Windows 10 Pro for $13. We'll have a link down below where you guys can check us out on their website. And one thing that's really cool is you can buy as many keys as you want. All right. So you know the deal. Looking for a Windows key on the cheap? We'll have a link down below. All right, so it seems like to me that the RTX 2080 Ti came out with very, very mixed results. Even though people were very, very excited to get a new video card, when the video card came out, it's at $1,300 for the top of the line Founders Edition. That just put a big smush in everybody's face. And the fact that even though the card is called an RTX, we still haven't seen jack shit in the RTX department. I've seen a patch from Windows. I've seen a patch from NVIDIA. Where's the damn game patch? We're kind of in limbo about that, which kind of makes it a little bit weird. I think that there, you know, if there were more games right now or more news about more things taking advantage of RTX that we were actually going to be able to sink our teeth into, people would be a little bit more excited. But even with all that stuff going on, obviously we still have to do SLI testing. And even though I'm very sick and by the time you guys probably watch this video, I'll be in the hospital having my leg amputated. We did all the tests because a lot of people contacted to me and said, hey, Elric, we want to see what your results really say. And I think that you'll really be surprised at the end of the day. For one thing, SLI in the past was something that was pretty much free as far as the technology goes because most motherboards came with their own little SLI bracket so you could hook them up. Well, guess what? Those days are absolutely gone. No more gratis on the bridge. The bridges start out, I think, don't quote me completely here, but I think they're like $39, $49 in the starting range price. And they might all be that price, but they might range. But either way, you're still paying money out of your pocket now for this bridge. And the SLI bridge itself, it's completely a thing of the past. Now they have something brand new called NVLink. And when I made my first videos and I said, oh, NVLink is gonna bring, you know, almost double the frame rates, a lot of people scoffed and told me, oh, Eric, you're full of shit, you're a paid fanboy, you're sucking on the cock of NVIDIA. Well, guess what? Now you can do that same thing to yourself when you see the results today because I was like I usually am when I say these things, I was correct. Sure, I make mistakes like everybody else because a lot of stuff is speculation. But you guys are going to see that when NVLink actually works, it really kicks ass. Now, in 1080p, obviously, the CPU is bottlenecking the shit out of this. But at 4K, ho oh, ho. I think you will be really impressed with the numbers. Now we've tested 10 different games, old to new. We tried to test all the games there were, but some were just so old, we're just like, eh, all right, no. So we decided to test, you know, some of the newest games and a little bit of the older games for those people out there who just wanna see what it really does. So real quick, let's check out our test system. Now we had to go and build a whole nother test system because we were having one hell of a time with their previous one. But once again, we built a really nice system with the ASUS Prime 370 motherboard. 16 gigabytes of memory, this is DDR4. We have an i7-8700K, we're running it at stock speeds, but we always keep it so it's over throttling completely through our test. We've got two two terabyte hard drives and a 240 gigabyte SATA drive, all nice and cool. This system runs very quiet and we've got two RTX 2080 Ti's in SLI featuring the brand new NVLink bridge. So with that said, let's rock out to the new benchmark song and let's check out those damn scores.
let's first get the elephant in the room out of the room. We obviously know that buying two of these cards is literally enough to go out and buy a car. You can buy a car for $3,000. Driving around town the other day, I saw plenty of used cards for 23, 2400 bucks. So literally, you could choose to buy an SLI setup or you could choose to buy yourself a nice entry level car and have a way to get back and forth to work. But for those people who are financially secure, who have a really nice job and all that stuff, and play games in 4K, you can see that there's definitely a difference. 30 to 50 frames per second increase using the NVLink bridge on many games, and that is just outstanding. Obviously, if you're doing 1080, why would you even consider getting two of these cards? It's a waste of time, but I know that many people out there have said, hey, you know, 4K gaming is dead. Well, honestly, if NVIDIA releases more new titles and has more of these games software developers work with them, this new NVLink could really change things the way they are all the way across the board because you can see with two of these cards, 4K gameplay at great frame rates is definitely possible with games that support it. So other than the outrageous price tag that's on it, we all know that that's just over the top. If you have the money, you're a 4K gamer, and you want to be able to get the absolute best that you can get, including good frame rates and not crappy choppiness, hey man, this could be your solution. I'm Elric. You guys have been watching Tech and Tomorrow. We'll have links down below to a couple different RTX 2080 Ti's. If you want to check one out for yourself, we'll buy one. And we'll see you back here on the channel for more tech soon.